Hello and welcome dear learners and professionals to the another topic that is multimedia dissolution. It is a topic of great interest in the pharmaceutical industry and also a topic of great interest for the interviews. So let's start for the multimedia dissolution. Multimedia dissolution is also referred as MMD as a short form. Multimedia dissolution means performing dissolution test in multiple dissolution medias. So it is so simple, right? It is also called as pH profiling for the dissolution for oral formulations. Some people also call it as pH profiling or MMD or multimedia dissolution. So the medias are point, pH 1.2, pH 4.5 and pH 6.8. So pH 1.2 can be uh, made by 0.1 normal SCL, then pH 4.5 by acetate buffer and pH 6.8 by phosphate buffer. See these medias are not limited to these three medias only. As per the product requirement and product design, the regulatory authorities may also ask for other medias. So the medias are in addition to the QC release media or principal media. See once you have decided the QC media, then these multi media profiling is done in the other medias. For example, if your QC media is 0.1 normal SCL that is pH 1.2. So your multimedia dissolution will be performed in 4.5 and 6.8. So total three dissolutions will be there. And if your product is having a QC release media of water, then you have to perform the multimedia dissolution in remaining three medias like pH 1.2, 4.5 and 6.8. So it is always necessary to have MMD data in hand to know the products dissolution or drug release behavior in different pH environments. So why this uh, multimedia dissolution is required? Here I have enlisted the reasons for multimedia dissolution. Out of these all, first is gastric emptying time. See, the gastric emptying time in the fastest state is average 15 to 20 minutes. So, if the product's dissolution is slower than the gastric em emptying time or residence time of 15 to 20 minutes, then the MMD is recommended. So, from here you can understand why MMD is required or is must for the modified release doses forms like extended release or uh, controlled release formulations. It is also required for some immediate release formulations and it is a different requirement uh, for uh, market to market and for agencies different regulatory uh, regulatory agencies have different requirement for the multimedia dissolutions then mmd is done to study the product behavior under different ph environments and mimic the in vivo conditions the stomach has acidic ph and the intestine has basic ph so these are the factors which affect the product so multimedia dissolution is required then mmd of generic product is done to compare the dissolution of generic product with reference product and also it is done before the bioequivalence studies are performed so that you will understand where the generic product uh, is having similar release or somewhat different release than the inverter product then MMD is also required for bioweaver request including BCS based bioweavers. See, 
the multimedia dissolution is required for bio waivers i will make separate video on bio waiver because it is a, a big topic to discuss and to understand so bcs based bio waivers also require a multimedia dissolution and dissolution of the lower strains also require multimedia dissolution so it is required for both immediate release and modified release products multimedia dissolution is also helpful for monitoring the product performance in life cycle and for potential bio equivalences so if the product is change or significant change is made to the product during life cycle that time mmd is performed and mmd is also performed to rule out the potential bio equivalence problems so these are the main reasons issues so mmd can be performed with the dissolution conditions similar to qc dissolution method for example qc method is usp apparatus 2 water as a media at 50 rpm then mmd to be performed at usp apparatus 2 medias at and medias will be 1.2 ph 4.5 ph and 6.8 ph as 50 rpm with complete time release profile so the multimedia is always done with multiple dissolution time points then if qc method is one of the medias of ph 1.2 4.5 and 6.8 then total dissolution will be 3 otherwise the total dissolution medias will be 4 but these are not limited to only 4 medias as per the product requirement and as per the agency's requirement or regulatory authority's requirement these can be increased so let's see the factors which can affect the multimedia dissolution first is drug substance related factors which are uh, drug substance solubility drug substance particle size drug substance polymorphism so these three are the main factors of drug substance which can affect the multimedia dissolution profile and another is drug product composition and manufacturing process drug product composition or drug product design and manufacturing process are the parameters or factors which affect the multimedia dissolution so these factors are to be understood in detail here i have given some examples like see if the drug substance shows a ph dependent profile and is having a higher solubility in acidic media then you will get a dissolution profile like this in the i have given in the figure here so this ph dependent profile we got because of the ph dependent solubility of the api then if the api is not having any ph dependent solubility and if the api is having or product is having similar solubility in all the medias then you will get the another graph the all media behavior is similar then if the api is showing or drug substance is showing higher solubility in the extreme ph medias like it is soluble in uh, soluble in 0.1 normal hcl and is soluble in ph 6.8 then you will get a dissolution graph of that uh, drug product like this then if the qc release media contains uh, surfactant like sls and drug is insoluble in all the medias without surfactant then you will get dissolution profile like this uh, i have mentioned here multimedia dissolution profile for product with solubility in qc media only why it is soluble in qc media because it contains the surfactant so many times uh, the data with surfactant and without surfactant is generated and it is submitted to the regulatory authorities 
so what are the best practices for multimedia dissolution now we have to always study the mmd requirements as per the specific country and market sometimes for some of the products these regulatory requirements may vary as per the regulatory agency's requirement so that time we have to be very vigilant and we have to check the exact regulatory requirement so that we can perform multimedia dissolution as per the requirement then multimedia dissolution profile is specific for the products for example if we consider a product with uh, enteric coating so mmd media or mmd media requirement or dissolution requirement will be different for that product if the product contains any acidifier or basifier material and if that uh, excipient changes the drug products multimedia dissolution behavior that should be taken into account and always we have to be very specific with the multimedia dissolution requirements then sometimes the test product is different in composition and manufacturing process to that of the reference product if you are developing a generic product so those differences and similarities to be considered then understand the product behavior of reference test reference product and test product on all the strengths because sometimes the dissolution is strength dependent so study the factors affecting mmd always you have to study the factors which may affect the multimedia dissolution profile of your product that is very very important and always perform multimedia dissolution in the starting phase of the product development and after every significant change to the product because whenever you change the product like manufacturing process or api source or api particle size or polymorph it will reflect into the multimedia dissolution profile so this is very very important that you have to check the multimedia dissolution of the product whenever there is a significant change so this was uh, uh, introduction or uh, information about the multimedia dissolution and i hope you might have got some learning out of this i have referred usfda pmda and ema guidelines for making this presentation and you can search these guidelines and you can understand more so i hope this video will help you for the interview preparation and also for the day to day uh, r and d activities so thank you for uh, uh, watching this video please like share and subscribe stay tuned to this channel for more informative videos and for interview preparations related activities thank you